Hold on, I'm coming. Got to get my net. I did a video a while back with my mother and my niece and that we were cane pole fishing. And there were so many people that liked it. I had promised my mother, I promised my niece that I would take them again. I had so many viewers say, you need to do another video with them that we decided, okay, we'll do it. So um, we went to a, a family property location, somebody, a member of my family that allows us to fish there. And uh, so basically we were just cane pole fishing. So hope you enjoy the video. Well, we are out fishing again with the cane poles got cane pole here gonna be trying to fish for some mullet and whatever else comes got something on my cork Oop. that's how you catch a brim or not a brim a mullet so got my niece savannah my mom Of course, my mom ain't watching her cork, so you know. Did they get the poop off my hand? Yeah. That is nothing but toss that down there. That's probably a got a bunch of brim and crap that's too small to. Mama, you got stuff. Where are the worms? Here. I gave you a bucket. I'm going to try this. I keep eating hers off. Well, they're just going to love that more. Why give it to them when you can give it to me? Shut up. I can't get one. <laughs> Do they make shiny uh, Here. string? Do they, they make, make shiny, uh, They make colored fishing line. Like silver to make it shiny? Because fish like shiny things. You don't want them to hit the line. You want them to hit the bait. And all fish like shiny stuff. I know. Maybe. Just maybe. A special one that like shiny stuff. You need to learn to hook your own stuff so Grandma can fish. <gasps> Well, then tell her to let you bait your own stuff. This right here is a pinfish. When you get in them, my God, you can't do anything for them. Mama, you've got stuff biting on yours. Probably a pinfish. That's a nice fish. It's got a purple this right here is perfect for bait so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna save this for catfish bait got another fish here this is a croaker this be another bait that I can use for catfish. Got another one, croaker. So this would be bait for catfish. Trying to get out of the bait so that I can get into some um, mullet, but that's difficult sometimes. Uh, synthetic worm. Fishing about five foot deep and they're still actually longer than that, six foot at least. And they're taking it like it's nothing. 
I had stopped this morning at Blackwater Bay Baits to um, get some worms. These are some European night crawlers. They call them super red worms. These pinfish and stuff keep up. I'm going to start cutting these in half so that you know maximize the bait because they'll eat through everything you got. It. All right, got another pinfish right here. More catfish bait. Another pinfish. When you get in these, my God, you can't get out of them hardly. I've gone as deep as I can, Mom. I mean, you're, I'm over six, six foot deep. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the mullet. We're trying to find our target species and mullet are bottom feeders. And that's croaker. Yep. He's in the same family as a red drum. So if you ever heard of redfish, and if you look at them, they kind of look like a black drum as well, or um, places where they have white drums. We don't have them in Florida, but uh, definitely in the same family. She just wanting to catch something right now. That's all that is. I know that all too well. I thought that was a turtle. I was about to catch it. Pull it on the dock, put it in your lap. <laughs> you know, make memories. <laughs> worm is gone, Mom. Worm. Yeah, you was paying attention, Savannah, and stay your line. I quit saying something. That was a fake one, too. Yeah. They're equal opportunity offenders. Look at this one. Break it in half and then that way you got... I don't want to hurt it anymore than it's already being hurt. Don't worry, it's fixing to die. Savannah's got one. Oh, Rob. Yeah, give it here. I'll take care of it. We didn't even eat the whole worm. We can still use like most of the worm. Little croaker. Does he croak? He will. He has a, a bone in his head that makes a drumming sound. That's the reason why he's in the family of a drum. There you go. Bait your hook. Let my niece try my polarized sunglasses and she is just absolutely enthralled with the idea of them. She is loving them. I have to see about talking to her parents about getting her a pair. Cause she done said she's gonna swipe mine. <laughs> Those are yours now, what you tell me? They're not yours. See what we got hiding around here. My niece just said that she is a pro, a very tired pro. <laughs> Fish have kind of 
died down a little bit and I guess she's getting bored. So mom finally caught a fish. Savannah said we're an hour in, she finally catches a fish. I mean, even Savannah beat grandma, you know. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. So did you? I know. Yeah, it's but she just going. wanted to say something. What'd you say? She's like your dad? No. <laughs> she wanted to act all big. <laughs> She has that authority. She, can do that. she don't have no authority. Well, she's your mom and my grandma. She has it. She's just mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> she stole my glasses and now trying to steal her glasses because she can't see. <laughs> oh Lord. Now she's got my glasses over her glass. You gonna bend them out of shape, you big old head. It's not my head, it's the glasses. <laughs> got that big old melon head is what you got. There's a lot of bubbles where you're at, that's all I can see. You know what that is? The bubbles Air. coming up? Air. That is methane gas. Air. That is that is debris that is rotted vegetation and stuff coming up. Carbon dioxide, methane gas. Could be a gator. Are you a scientist or a fisherman? Takes a little bit of both. A little bit of science, a little bit of fishing. But always think like a fish no matter how weird it gets. Savannah called another croaker. That's getting near eaten size, not quite, but. Well, if we put them all together, we can eat them all. All good. Needs to be a little bit bigger. Savannah's got a hard head, so we're gonna throw him back, but gotta get him. Okay, a hard head, hard head. <laughs> Said a hard head catching a hard head. Truer words were never spoken. The, the, what you're calling a mustache is actually barbels. And the barbels, he has actually a pair on the bottom of his mouth and a pair on the side of his mouth. And they're feelers so that when he's in water that he can't see, he can actually sense with those. So they're actually extra feelers. Okay. Yeah. These are not good to eat. What do they taste like? Very... Don't you get me, you sorry son of a gun. I wish we could eat them because they're so plentiful. Mama's got a gar. Oh, hold on, I'm coming. Got to get my net. Got a catfish, it looks like. Oh crap. Get on out of here. Oh, you getting in my net, really? Oh, gonna get fish slime in my net. Not the good fish slime either. Get on out of here. Mom's got another hard head. Savannah's got a theory that everybody's catching the same fish. Well, he's a hard head. He's really living up to his name. Don't want to let go of the mind. She said that the reason why he's called a hard head is because he's so hard headed about being caught all the time. 
That's the reason why she thinks they eat the same fish. Sounds like he's farting. Quit. You talk to him like he's a dog. Let him breathe while you're doing that. Well, I'm breathing when I'm done. <laughs> I think I just winded him. There you go. Here, knock it over here and I'll take care of it. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. Uh, this was filmed, today's the 10th of October. This was filmed, I believe, the 8th of October, if I remember right. And no, no, it was the, it was 7th of October. Anyway, uh, my, you know, that's when my niece was going to be with my mother. We decided that'd be the best time, although that's when there was supposed to be a temperature drop, a huge temperature drop. It went from being in the 90s to being 45. And uh, like this morning, it was 56 degrees and you know, and then by noon, it was already over 80. So that's kind of weird weather we're getting. We had one rain shower, but the rain shower was so brief that my plants still were wilted after the rain. And they, I actually had to take water hose and plant or and uh, water them. The water is so devoid of fresh water that I did a, a video that will be coming out soon with my wife and I where we were catfishing and we were way up the river and I went to move a cork and I took my mouth and my teeth which you're not supposed to do and I've taken the little stopper out of the, the cork and it was salty the water was salty and that has been a problem we've had now for a while I've got another video I've been trying to get done but with this cold snap it's made it difficult we've got stingray and jellyfish moving into the river system now it is that salty so anyway that's the reason why we had so many uh fish that were trash fish more or less they're just coming in and they're taking over where they normally wouldn't be, they kind of be pushed back a little bit by the fresh water. We don't have that. Uh, we had not had hardly any rain, and the heat has been so hot that everything just dries out super fast. And that means that the fresh water is not there in sufficient quantity. So what was either mildly brackish or mostly fresh is now just as salty as seawater gets. And... So it's just going further and further up and uh, making it very difficult and the fish are having to adjust because now you got all these saltwater species coming in and um, it's been a unique experience, I'll put it that way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, it really does help out the channel. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. YouTube treats it the same way. And at least it lets me know, okay, I did something you didn't like. Um, but everybody that watches my channel, y'all have always been great. I get 
great input. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted to uh, new content. And reach out to me and tell me what you want to see. I love to hear viewer comments. And of course, if you ever fish with Kane Paul, I'd love to hear that as well. With that, I'll see you again next time.